in violation of this policy. Under this policy, you can't share the following types of private information without the permission of the person who it belongs to. <clears throat> a home address or physical location information. That's what that is. Physical location information. Here's where Elon... <laughs> he's, he's justifying the whole thing based on the new policies that Elon Musk unrolled that next day. <laughs> Yeah, we know the fiat. We know what happened. We know his justification. And did you not notice the huge amount of hypocrisy that came up from people being like, uh, well, here's an example of that. Oh, how about libs of TikTok? Libs of TikTok. Oh, it's libs of TikTok. Oh, look, China Right Checks doing it again. Hey, look, real time location information, uh, an address, a phone number. Uh, oh, look, it's a school. It's a hospital. It's a teacher. It's, just, it's another event every single time. It's an LGBTQ plus event. Here's the address. Here's the contact information. Here's the email. Here's the phone number. Fly away, my pretties. Go have fun. Okay, let's uh, let's put some over-unders here. What, what are we feeling? Do you, do you think Jimmy Dore is going to... I was trying to skip over that. you think Jimmy Dore is going to buy into Elon Musk's conspiracy theory that uh, his real-time location was doxxed and because of that it's totally cool to do censorship 1987 Greg Orville the pickle men, do you think? And the reason he gave was that they were doxing, that they were doxing his plane. They were giving real time, up to date information about where his plane was. And so. Oh, sorry, the, he didn't put the word plane in here, Jimmy. Any account doxing real time location info of anyone will be suspended, as it is a physical safety violation. This includes posting links to sites with real-time location info. Posting locations someone traveled to on a slightly delayed basis isn't a safety problem, so is okay. Yeah, this one here, that's that's what happened. It was 23 hours. The incident occurred 23 hours after the information that Elon Jett had posted. It's it's almost like he's just lying out loud to all of you, and you're buying it. So he on, on the 14th, he tweeted this out. Any account doxing real-time location info of anyone will be suspended. As it is a physical safety violation, this includes posting links to sites with real-time location info. And that's what they did to him. Posting locations someone's traveled to on a slightly delayed basis isn't a safety problem, so that's okay. Because there was other people saying, oh, his plane has been here, so that's okay. He's saying, don't do it in real time. Uh, Good, because no one did. So there you go. Except for him, he did. Because he posted real-time location information where he was standing at that game, you know, FIFA. But uh, outside of that, uh, yeah, none of the journalists did it. Neither did Elon's Jet account, actually. It was 23 hours again after that information was posted when the uh, incident occurred. The incident in which we now know, uh, according to the police and uh, multiple news outlets, may have actually involved Elon Musk's uh, security guard being the suspect. Um, Life is wild. Life, life is just wild, eh? So many stories happening at once. And then he tweets this out same day. So so this was at 4.13 p.m. This was at 4.48 p.m. He says, last night, a car carrying Lil X. That's his kid, you know, XA23, whatever. Oh, I didn't know what that was. That was a rapper, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Jimmy, is this the first time you've seen this tweet as you're reporting on it in real time? Is this the first time? Like, when you're doing this, is this you reading it for the first time? Okay, here we go. Hey, what up, Dark Native? Everyone go check out his channel. <laughs> no, it's this kid with... Uh, so that's his kid? Yeah, with, uh, what's her name? Grimes, yeah. Was followed by a crazy stalker thinking it was me, who later blocked the car from moving and climbed onto the hood. And, he, and that he got a picture of the guy. Does anybody know this guy? Well, he's dressed up like Antifa, they say. And somebody did get a... Wait, who's they? What's going on here? Uh, someone says, is this the guy who jumped on the hood? And he said, yeah, it is. So then this guy figured out who he was. This guy who's a specialist, Sergeant Daniel McLaughlin. He says, that vehicle tag is Temp Tag, <laughs> recently issued by Loma Linda Hyundai, doing business as Hyundai Inland Empire, located... Okay, well, I don't know anything about this, Jimmy. I'm going to skip ahead because I don't know what's happening. Because we do know the true story now. Turns out this individual uh, did not learn the location uh, that they appeared in because of Elon Jet. In fact, Elon Jet's uh, location information that was 23 hours before the incident occurred. And according to the current story that was released on The Guardian today, turns out that Elon Musk's security guard may have pulled his car in front of this person. He is the suspect in this case, and he may have actually hit that person with his vehicle. And then the weird thing was that Clean Elon Musk room. took that and then 
tried to spin the entire thing to be like, hey, by the way, this actually was about something totally different. Uh, this was about journalists posting my real-time location information, so I have to delete all their accounts. They're, they're all gone now. They're, they're bad and gone. No more real-time location doxing. None at all. And then Fox News is like, hey, we've got aerial footage of real location doxing right now of a whole bunch of migrants. And he's like, oh, cool. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Amazing. Sullivan, a reporter, he tweeted out LAPD statement on alleged Musk incident. LAPD's threat management unit is aware of the situation and a tweet by Elon. Oh, damn. Look at this. They're actually doing a little bit of reporting. Journalism and, Musk, you want and is in it. contact with his representatives Clean and security team. No crime reports have been filed yet. And then that guy got suspended. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's what it was for, but that's what people were saying that why he got. I don't think that's why he got. I don't oh, think okay. I think he's one of the people that he was must have been linking to the also met Lincoln. Yeah. So people were trying to say that's Are you give me what <laughs> Even the world's richest man. The benefit of the doubt here. <laughs> I uh, probably because of the real time location information that they were they were doxing. Yeah, seems seems fair, relevant. Right, but okay. So, so okay. Here, so somebody said, "Hey, reporters, they're trying to make it out that reporters who are covering Elon Musk are being suspended now." That's the yeah, new shit that, that's line. What, uh, no, no, that's that's not a shit lib line. That's that's what happened. E even people on the other side of the aisle have recognized that at this point, Jimmy. Oh, wow. This one's really embarrassing. Sullivan from CNN. Drew Harlow from the Washington Post. All the shit Ryan lips. Mack from the New York Times. Aaron Rupar, Independent. And Clean Elon Musk room. says, same doxing rules apply. This is one of the free speech people, by the way. Jimmy's one of the free speech absolutists. And he's so fast at this. Look at him. Already, he's just like, oh, well, I don't know. I think it's because they were doxing in real time. Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, people are trying to say this is because journalists are being censored for being critical of them. But those are just shit libs. Every single one of them. Like a journalist as to everyone else. So that's his comeback. And there's all them. And he says, criticize me all day long is totally fine. But doxing me real time, my real time location and endangering my family is not OK. Hey, Mac is there. What's up, Mac? Good to see you. And so there was this thing called Elon Jet, right? So there was a Twitter account called Elon's Jet. They would post wherever Elon's Jet was. So mm -hmm. he suspended that account. And then down here, the Jet account was Based literally automatically posting already publicly available information True. that has been protected under the First Amendment in case law. You're literally just making this shit up as you go. That's so he's saying that Elon Musk is lying and making this stuff. Mac up. is correct here. Posting already publicly available. That's it's Are not. You that's that? not I what I. It, what I'm okay. getting to that. You're you're running. Whoa. So in this one, you're disagreeing with Mac, a.k.a. You should go follow at good politic guy uh, and also watch his channel. But that's wild. Oh, again, defending the billionaires. So that's not true. A hundred percent true. So he says my plane is actually not trackable without using non public data. This one that's as well. what Elon Musk says. Now, would he blatantly lie that big like that? Maybe. I don't know. They're being technical. But that's a big, big lie if it is. Right? And so that would pretty, that would. It's actually not. And so, yeah, I can pull up the thread. Someone described it very, very easily about how, hey, by the way, this is how you can do this. This is how they achieve this. This is in no way, shape or form uh, hacking or using uh, private information or uh, information that isn't publicly available. I'll find uh, Let's see. I'll find the So exam. here's what Parker Malloy says. She says, one thing that's worth remembering, the guy who set up the Elon Jet account was a fan of Musk's. Musk asked him to take it down. He half-jokingly asked for a Tesla. Musk countered with $5,000 in exchange for taking it down. He asked for 50 or a SpaceX internship. <laughs> First off, 5, 10, 50, 500,000. None of it is significant amount of money to Elon Musk. But sure, he said it felt weird to pay to have the account taken down. But why not offer the guy an internship at least? What? Okay, so first off, here is Musk showing real-time location doxing the same day that he posted about that not being available. Uh, Bill Magulin from Fox. Uh, our Fox News drone is over hundreds of migrants as they cross illegally into Eagle Pass, Texas right now. Per CB, uh, CBP source, the Del Rio sector has already seen 115,000 legal crossings since 10-1, up 56%. Elon Musk responds with, wow. Wow. Then I'll find that other thread. It went from, hey, this guy is a fan of Elon Musk's, and he started... Oh, found the other thread. 
All right. I'm a journalist, so this is responding to Tim Pool saying, just because journalists are lying and calling Elon Jed public information does not make them exempt from the rules. Elon's PIA number was private info exposed by Sweeney, and yet they are all just keep lying and saying that it was public. Please. I'm a journalist, and here's how you can very easily track Elon or anyone else's plane using only public records. In order to track a private flight, we need the end number. This is a unique identifier to the plane, usually written in large print near the tail of the plane. The easiest way to get this would be to look at the picture, but it can also be looked up in public records. The Wall Street Journal published a picture of Elon's jet with the end number visible in February 2022 in an article about Elon Jet. While it is a bit blurry, you can definitely make it out. If you didn't have the picture of the end number, that's okay. End numbers are registered to an open FAA registry. However, it's a little tricky in Elon's case since it's owned by an LLC and not him individually. An LLC is a limited liability corporation registered with the government. Learning how to search through these records is actual journalism, but we're lucky because Elon's was published to Business Insider. There's the name of that company, because again, it is a publicly traded, oh, sorry, not publicly traded, but the information on the LLC is, uh, they're all available publicly. Elon Musk is listed as an officer of the Falcon Landing LLC, whose address is registered at this address, SpaceX corporate address. Hey. Look what we see when you plug in that in the FAA database. The last entry is the same end number from the Wall Street Journal picture and happens to be the same end number that Elon Jet tracks. All available through 100% publicly available information. All of it. You can either do it one way, which is the easier way, by just going on this picture and then looking at this little thing right here and then boom, you got it. Or you can do it the second way, which requires a couple extra steps. But as soon as you find out the name of Elon Musk's uh, LLC, and then you type the LLC in the FAA registry, boom, you have it in both cases. This fun little project to Musk saying he was going to sue a college sophomore for something his account absolutely had nothing to do with. Also, sorry, but not you don't get to go around saying i'm a free speech absolutist and then start carving out exceptions without people calling you out for being full of shit and then she says oh but i thought a company could do whatever they want huh that's correct i see very few but some people arguing otherwise they're just calling out the free speech absolutist crowd as being full of shit which is true <laughs> it's the exact opposite it is, exact, is a moron. It is true. This is, it is absolutely so she's true. She's doing the exact opposite. No, the, the hypocrisy here is the people who were calling <clears throat> Elon Musk a fascist for not banning people they hate. Now that he's banning people they like, now that's somehow fascist. That's the weird thing. Free seats have a vote. No, who's full of shit are the, are the liberals who were upset he wasn't banning. And now that he is, they're saying he. Do you see that? It's the exact opposite. This is whew, the, one of the most childish arguments I've ever heard Jimmy make. The, you're the free speech guy. So, so you're the one at this moment who's supposed to be like, oh, look, he's banning a whole bunch of journalists. This is the opposite of the thing I always proclaim to believe in. The opposite of what I proclaim to believe is happening right now. I should speak out about it. Not be like, I want to justify Elon Musk's decision here. I, they were kind of doxing him, you know, at the end of the day. Was this really publicly available information? I want to get to your, your breakdown of that. They like, do and nothing. Then you look into what they do. That prick Ben Collins, they don't just do journalism. They they do like shitty. No, they, I don't want to call it activism because some people do real activism. But what they do is real dirty, like campaign trick stuff under course. the guise of journalism. So Glenn goes on to say <laughs> CNN and New York needed, Times but... journalists and executives. Wait, when we were demanding more of this, meaning more censorship, we didn't mean that this should be done to us. This was supposed to be used only against right wing cretins, <laughs> conservative journalists and other species of peasants, not against us. <laughs> That's what this is. Yeah. For slow liberals struggling to understand the point, I al already devoted a full show to critiquing Musk's inconsistent free speech practices. What I won't take are liberals who spent years defending censorship now whining because their friends are being banned. It's exactly right. I'm against I'm against the banning of all everybody. Right. So, oh, OK, uh, that's not what this video is about. Being consistent unless you're breaking oh, okay. a law. Right. And then and then we still don't need Twitter. So you, you still haven't stood up for all the journalists who just got censored to do it we have law enforcement agencies that are there to take care of if someone's they didn't breaking break any laws. the law so the, i would like that to apply the free speech first amendment okay. to all social media and, okay. and if some just like if someone's standing in a park they should have the same free speech rights on social media and if okay. they break a law in the park 
talking. So the journalists that's just, then, then the they journalists would be taken care of by a cop, just like on social right. media. If they're breaking a law, okay. then there's already law they didn't enforcement do that. agencies to take care of that stuff, and they you should refer that. That them to local law enforcement. <laughs> so that's what. So that, now you that's can, how I now feel you can do about it. it. Okay. But you haven't done it yet. You still haven't stood up for. You haven't said, "Hey, by the way, I condemn the fact that these journalists have all been censored uh, for being critical of Elon Musk." So this guy says to Glenn, "You are nothing more than a tribal grifter." <laughs> Musk banning Rupar and CNN reporter Donnie O'Sullivan without any explanation is directly against what he claimed to be for. Without regards for free speech, you will support anything Not for wrong. your tribe, though. I, I see no exact, errors. Uh, again, it's just—it's the opposite. What, I gay swear. Expats in Brazil. What's Look, it's the opposite. I shouldn't be held accountable for my opinions and beliefs. I want them to be held accountable. For their opinions and beliefs. I don't want to have to do that. That's hard. Staying consistent, having fucking principles. No, it's difficult. I, I'd rather the opposite. I, I'd rather they have to do that and I can basically have any standard I want. That, but yeah, the, no rules apply. It's the tribe he's part of. I don't, <laughs> right? I don't know. So watching the same liberal corporate journalist who. Ex okay, yes, the Glenn Greenwald circle jerk. We all know that he was just basically like, oh, yeah, by the way, I have principles, but it's just so funny that all of you suddenly think that you care about free speech. We're threatening Elon Musk with sanctions and other legal reprisals if he didn't censor more. Now they're threatening him with sanctions because he's censoring more. <laughs> Do you see the issue? Zero principles, just whether the right people are being censored. So they're not against censorship. They just don't want their side being censored. Um, here is Elon Musk actually talking about what happened. So he went on a he went on a spaces, whatever those things, and they got him. There's a couple of journalists who confronted him and listen, listen to this. Well, as I'm sure everyone who's been docs and uh, would agree, you know. We've listened to this clip. He basically can't answer three questions and then leaves in a rage quit. You consider that information? Oh, he didn't answer it. Yeah. So he's the journalist that got banned, and so then he starts talking journalisty. So she yeah, asks him, I, talking you, journalisty. You were posting and then this journalist started journalizing all over him, and then he just before he knew it, he was journalists. The real time information, right? Well, I, I would like to know. I don't know. His account is now blocked, so I can't go back and check. No, none of them did. Not a single one of them who got banned posted real-time tracking information. At most, they posted links to the Elon Jet. Not all of them, by the way. Matt Binder didn't even do that, but they posted links to the Elon Jet account, at which point the Elon Jet account had shown that the publicly available, again, yes, publicly available information of that flight, 23 hours to the attack, 23 hours prior. Yes, it was not real time. It was almost a full, it was an hour away from being a day later. <laughs> so I wish he would have just answered. Let's hear what he says. I mean, you're, you're suggesting that we're sharing your uh, address, which is not. Do we know so why Binder is still banned? Because Binder refuses to delete one specific tweet, which he shouldn't have to. There's no reason why the tweet in question is one that he has to delete. But they're saying that he has to delete a tweet, a tweet or he can't go back into his account. No, so, so he won't answer that question. Because mm -hmm. it sounds like the answer is yes, I was. I was doing that thing you're claiming I wasn't doing. The thing that... Elon Musk is claiming I did, and you're claiming I didn't. Turns out it looks like he was doing it because he won't answer that question. What's the tweet? Go to um, Matt Binder's Mastodon Question. for all things Matt Binder and at this time. He's the journalist, not the police. He's, he's talking like a politician, even though he's a journalist. Mm -hmm. Not true. So let's. I'm gonna go, I'll go back one more time. <laughs> it was an accurate news story. <laughs> <laughs> and it was being suppressed for political reasons, not for safety reasons. It wasn't, there's no, there was nothing safety about that. That was just 100% political. So now he's conflating. He's conflating doxing someone with, with the censorship of an accurate news story. No, okay, so what he did say and what Jimmy is completely just trying to convolute into nonsense right now, he did say that, Elon Musk, you are using the same things that you criticized. You are using a block, a mass block of links, links to the Hunter Biden news story, the one that was in the New York Post, uh, Twitter not allowing links to that story. You're doing the exact same thing. And by the way, I'm not here to defend Twitter's decision or any massive corporation's decision in that regard, but he's saying you're doing the exact same thing right now for links to Elon Jet account. You're, you're doing the same thing that you accused others as doing. Mr. Free Speech, you are not. You, you are a massive hypocrite. That's what's happening here. Just because they're not 
one to one in terms of the exact same. Yes, one of them is Hunter Biden's cock. One of them is a story about the Hunter Biden laptop. These things are different. Different things can be different. But he's saying you're using the same mechanism to censor. That's the point. Those are not the same thing, but he's conflating them. They all do that on purpose because they want someone just like a guy that went there and jumped on the car or whatever the hell happened. That's what they want. That's what they want. They've been doing this to a lot. Apparently what happened was Elon Musk's security guard may have just hit one of Grimes' stalker with his car. That's as far as we know from the police report today. Things seem to keep getting worse. Maybe putting all your chips in with a fucking billionaire liar isn't the best call if you want to stay, I don't know, looking not ridiculous in the future. For a long time. And they all collude to do it, by the way. So what is different yeah, here it's, and it's there? No more acceptable for me. It's, it's no more acceptable for me, for you, than it is for me. Same thing. So anyway, uh, so it's unacceptable what you're doing. No, what you, 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 you docs, you get suspended End the story. That's it. <laughs> Elon. I and that was that. And then I think he bounced. So uh, too bad that guy couldn't answer a straight question. <laughs> maybe maybe he deserves to be they straight up. Uh, a he, bunch he, of their names. I recognize them from other. Oh, stuff. they're the worst. They're they the straight dregs. up lie and they set up real. It, they're not. You were defending the billionaire out of that outcome? The one where he rage quit, where he refused to answer a single question, and you're like, oh, a bunch of fucking dirty journos. This is fucking, this is what I told you. Every single one of them is a scumbag. It was a hit piece. All of them, they cornered him. Uh, no, he saw the spaces was going down because it was deeply embarrassing that the company he works for, despite the fact that he had banned a whole bunch of them, were still able, because of how glitchy everything is, to appear in Twitter spaces. And so he jumps in there being like, you're all banned. This is going to be done. I'm shutting this down. And then they're like, can we just ask you a couple questions legitimately? None None of us shared real-time location info about yourself. None of us. In fact, if you look at when the incident took place, it was incredibly far away from the airport, and it was a day later. There's there's those two things. So we never actually did that. So why are you censoring all of us? It's like, uh, no, no questions. You, know, you break the rules. You dox. You know, no special privilege. by Journalists? I wouldn't call them activists. They're like dirty campaigners, like those and guys that made the Rogan thing. Like, they're like that kind of person. So what is it? The Rogan thing. Was that the one that I made? Which one are you referencing? In violation of this policy, under this policy, you can't share the following types of private information without the permission of the person who it belongs to. <clears throat> a home address or physical location information. That's what that is. Physical location information. Here's where Elon. <laughs> he's, he's justifying the whole thing based on the new policies that Elon Musk unrolled that next day. <laughs> Yeah, we know the fiat. We know what happened. We know his justification. And did you not notice the huge amount of hypocrisy that came up from people being like, uh, well, here's an example of that. Oh, how about libs of TikTok? Libs of TikTok. Oh, it's libs of TikTok. Oh, look, Chai Right Checks doing it again. Hey, look, real time location information, uh, an address, a phone number. Uh, oh, look, it's a school. It's a hospital. It's a teacher. It's, just, it's another event every single time. It's an LGBTQ plus event. Here's the address. Here's the contact information. Here's the email. Here's the phone number. Fly away, my pretties. Go have fun jet is uh including street address gps coordinates or other identified information related to locations live location information that's again is his jet yeah the, the okay so so many things wrong with this one these this was unrolled after the incident two again the address was miles and miles away from the airport where it happened three it happened again 23 hours after that address was posted so no it doesn't fall under that and again the journalists weren't even posting that they posted a link to the elon jet account to report on the elon jet account being banned this wasn't a like and can we go further elon musk started going nuts about this he melted down he was saying multiple times on Twitter he was like they posted assassination coordinates they, they were trying to assassinate me and then like even Barry uh, Weiss was like uh you know I, I obviously understand that some difficult decisions have to be made at that level but I kind of don't agree with all these journalists getting bad he's like Barry what about when they post the address of my child what then Barry what say you now no response hour goes by Barry I demand you answer me they tried to kill my family assassination coordinates is this okay answer me couple of hours go by Barry you have still not responded they took a knife to my child they jumped on the top of the car they tried to blow me up what say you Barry answer me uh so yeah it, it was very embarrassing very very embarrassing for all involved and now embarrassing for you as well still defending this shit it's kind of funny that we looked at this one a couple days after he released it because now so much more information has come out that makes all this look so much worse including information shared <laughs> so on much Twitter directly worse. or links <laughs> to third-party URLs of travel routes, actual physical location, or other...
hmm, strange. Wonder why that rule would come out the very next day. Seems hyper specific. Seems as if, you know, here's a new Twitter policy. It seems like it's directly catered to one person, the head mod, if you will. Identifying information that would reveal a person's location, regardless if this information is publicly available. That's from the New York Times. Oh, yeah, he wasn't even involved in the incident. We should add that one. That, that one's probably... So he wasn't actually there in the incident. The, the incident actually was taking place between one of his security guards and someone who is an alleged crime stalker. And then the security guard took that video footage of the alleged stalker. Then the alleged stalker got out of the car, according to the police. And then at this point, the suspect, Elon Musk's security guard, may have struck the stalker with his vehicle. But again... That doesn't involve Elon Musk, doesn't involve Elon Musk's child, doesn't involve the location of the airport that he had taken on his private jet a day prior, and also doesn't involve uh, everything that Elon Musk is accusing the journalists of. So the owner, so here's how it goes. So the owner of Elon Jet's account, Jack Sweeney, has pre- who was banned before that policy came out, by the way. This was something that Elon Musk just did and then tried to retroactively justify. And that's why the whole thing was a flail. As the day went on, you could just see things getting like, wait, what? You're accusing this person of posting information that directly led to an assassination attempt on your child? That's what you're accusing of what happened here? And now that the story's coming out, it's like, oh, it's so much worse, Elon. He <laughs> said that all the information he used to create the account is publicly available. And then he wouldn't respond to it additional for comment <laughs> yeah so then the guy just goes so again this sounds like bullshit yeah it is although the data used to operate elon jet account and other similar accounts tracking celebrity planes is publicly accessible experts note there isn't a single government registry of such data so what that means is you actually requires you putting together separate pieces of information to create a tracking account. So the, it's not like the government just does this and gives this information out. You have to come along and do it yourself and put it together. So doing so, of course, raises privacy concerns. It's all public information that that would be called doing a journalism if you wanted to report on a public figure and their actions and be like, it's kind of interesting why Elon Musk, despite the fact that he says he does not care about X, has taken a flight to Y where he could encounter X. That's something that a journalist may do with publicly available information. Again, you could have found out that information simply by looking at the cover of the Wall Street Journal's article that has the actual serial numbers on the back of the plane in that photo that is publicly available to anyone to see. And then you could just track what the flight logs are of that thing and that's what the person did most likely i mean that's the easiest way to have done it none of that is legal that's all publicly available information that anyone can use the tracking capabilities are possible thanks to technology called automated dependent surveillance broadcast or adsb it's like global positioning system technology or GPS, but on steroids. Every three seconds, ADSB equipment on a plane sends out real time data about not just the aircraft's location, but also its altitude and velocity and other. Yes, so planes don't smash into each other. So we have this information so that it can be obtained and used by third parties without having to worry about, oh, whether or not they have access to that. That's why that is. At the, uh, but all this being said, just because you're figuring this out for the first time, as don't get me wrong, the ability to track the flights, I only learned that through this process. Uh, I, I'm not someone who frequently engages in that kind of activity, but it's neat to know, and it's neat to know why it exists and why they have that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm going to say this, like, for, for Jimmy and everyone trying to put the pieces together, he was not attacked mid-flight. If you're like, well, it shows the real-time tracking information, yes, for the flights, and then when the flight lands, that's the end of them tracking him. They have no information post the landing, at which point whatever Elon Musk does or his security guard does after that, no one, including Elon Jet or the journalists who are reporting on Elon Jet, were providing real-time tracking information. No one. It's flight paths. And we aggregate the info and then we put it on a map, Stu Furt said government website that gives you this information he has to, he's got a program that's collecting all this data and then he's putting it together so that he can blackmail him for a so job so he can blackmail him for a job or which five. is how a bunch of those like your parker malloys i think they got their jobs they threatened these companies oh i better hire her she sounds really <laughs> well i can't i can't validate that assertion but I 
Oh, well, I'm glad you have a bar. That's good, Jimmy. There's a certain point where you're just like, uh, the, so basically you're, you're trying to say right now that people use this public flight information to blackmail themselves into positions of power, and you have zero evidence to base that on, but just based on the fact that you now think there's some kind of weird conspiracy. Okay, well, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't vouch for the thing that you just said out loud. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Um, <laughs> he doesn't look happy at the end there to not be validated, by the way. He doesn't feel seen. <laughs> look at this Kurt Metzger. For a job. Or Which five is how a bunch of those, wait, wait like for it. your Parker Malloy's, I think they got their jobs. They threatened these companies. Oh, I better hire her. She sounds really... <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't, I can't validate that assertion, but I see... <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, that's not happy. That's, you do not feel seen at this point. Don't worry. I see you, Kurt. I see your sadness. We need to paint you. So I want to go back to Glenn Greenwald and what this really reveals about the shit libs. Lay it on me. I'm Tell not, me about the shit libs. Uh, I'm the not corporate shit libs. But, uh, here we go. By far, the number one villain is Rick Snyder, who's mm -hmm. now being embraced by... So he's talking about the former governor of Michigan. Mm -hmm. who, now this is, he did this a, a year uh, during the campaign. The, the last presidential campaign, the Democrats went to Michigan and they campaigned with Rick Snyder, who's the guy who poisoned all those people in Flint, Michigan. And he's a horrible right wing, uh, 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 just the worst kind of authoritarian. He took away people's ability to, to be mayor in their own town and he appointed mayors and city. I'm so curious to see how this is relevant. I'm so excited. And so he's the worst kind of guy. And Glenn's going to tell you that the Democrats got in bed with him. Biden okay. campaign is somebody who they're whose endorsement they're proud to have. Right. And that is just it's the reason why liberals are so repulsive. They don't have any fixed beliefs. They weaponize yeah. everything cynically. Yeah. And, and they're so transparent about it. And then at the same time, so sanctimonious about who they are. Right. Right. Like you, I remember like Lee Atwater, who of course was like a scumbag political operative kind of like reveled in the fact that that's what he was, right? Like Roger Stone is sort of the same, same way. Same thing. Like they're totally amoral scumbags, but they kind of admit it. They don't really pretend otherwise. Liberals are exactly... I, wow, I've never seen such a striking example of the why aren't you talking to the mirror right now, Glenn? I hope this is in front of the mirror. I hope he's got a little mirror that he hangs up in front of his screens on his computer and he's just talking to himself. Because, <laughs> goddamn, set the self-awareness to zero. <laughs> the same. They have zero principles. They weaponize everything against their enemies and then ignore and give license to whoever's on their side. But then at the same time are so self-righteous about who they are and that's what makes them okay so don't get me wrong i'm not going to defend anyone's self-righteousness especially if you happen to be someone who hides behind identity politics a liberal hiding behind identity politics yeah no i, I don't think it's a great thing if we have more military industrial complex run by uh trans black ceos even though that's not the thing that is happening right now but i'm just saying that's not the kind of identity politics that i'm on the other uh, side of i'm not here to defend people who are like that and i hear this argument a lot where it's like well this person is a true believer this person is a real believer this person is out and proud about what they say which coming from glenn that is so fucking rich like oh my word uh but anyways when it comes down to it uh, at, at the very end of the day what does this have to do with elon musk banning a bunch of journalists <laughs> i'm still still waiting for that part isn't that why we're here jimmy he's like look look at what he's about to say right now and it's like yeah he's saying the thing he says all the time it's like oh just i hate the liberals so much it's just they're so uh they're so transparent they always posture as if they're like you know formatively woke but they don't actually do anything they actually hate people and like uh, what does this have to do with Elon? Repulsive. That and uniquely this, repulsive. And this situation is revealing that. Anything else you want? I don't want to spend too much time on this. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm glad you explained that. Oh, this situation is revealing that. Good. Good. So you could have pulled up any clip you wanted. Could have just been Glenn Greenwald being like, I hate the shit libs. And then I would have been like, see? Yep. And that's uh, yeah, that's relevant. Kurt, do you want to put a bow on this one? Because everybody in the world is going to cover it. And my angle is probably different than every other fucking YouTubers. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you did it. Except weird that it aligns with, like, most of the conservative pundits that we've watched, because we've watched a lot of takes on this, and it seems like you were kind of one for one with what the conservatives were also thinking. It wasn't even that weird kind of like, oh, no, I'm the one who says that I hate the corporate Democrats and I hate the corporate... No, yours was just kind of aligned with the same thing. But either way, protecting the billionaires. Good job. Lefty shit, you know. 
uh, the guy Yol or whatever his name is, yeah. the safety guy, Yo, that, the safety guy the Twitter, hysterical headlines. He's had to flee his home. Yeah. So now he says, yeah. Why do you think? Because a whole bunch of people on the internet now call him a pedophile because Elon Musk weaponized that because he took an old article that he wrote for his PhD thesis that talks about protecting queer kids online and spun the whole thing to be about how he's actually a pedophile. It's pretty, pretty disgusting that that whole thing took place. Go. So he's yeah. pretending that he's a victim now. So. And that was nobody gave out his address. No they one just showed his old weird papers he wrote. Yeah, did you not? Holy Jesus Christ! You not understand how the internet works? Things go beyond. Like Elon Musk doesn't have to hold up a sign that says, "This is Joel Roth's address. Here's how you get here. Take a left turn on this street. Make sure you do the blah. This is the exact instructions. Come at this time. We should all do that for people to actually take action and threaten people's lives or find out where they live, find out their addresses. People have agency. They do things independent of what Elon Musk has done at any given time. So yes, Elon Musk didn't need to push or publish that. He all he needed to do was start a spark where he got people to believe that Joel Roth was a pet file and had pedophilic beliefs and wrote an essay defending pedophilia and social media but also was in charge of trust and safety and then say that hey by the way uh child porn was so so out of control before i got here so was child trafficking until i got here and i turned that all off and then jordan peterson comes out of nowhere and is like it's true i've been trying to find child porn all week and i can't haha <laughs> we have defeated the postmodern neo-marxist like guys what are we doing yeah and now he's afraid and it's just amazing to watch the difference and like, what? Why can't everyone know where you're going to be? Why don't you? I thought you like free speech. Or you got a guy with a mask come and jump on your car with your kid in it. <laughs> no, no one is saying Elon Musk should get his family attacked. I've never once. No one is saying that. Not a single person thinks that Elon Musk's personal location of his children with real time GPS coding should be on display at all times. It's, it's the weirdest comeback the right has had lately where like uh, you'll post about what's happening and they're like, oh, OK, surfs, post your address. Oh, yeah, Lance going to show where you are at right now. I'm like. No, I'm not advocating for him to have to do that either because it didn't. That's the point. The point is not that I all of a sudden have the bravery to be like, everyone should have real time tracking location data published publicly. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that these journalists never did that. They never published his real time location data. You can call one out without also wanting to be un under 100% constant like scrutiny 24 seven. You weirdos, you absolute weirdos. Do you enjoy the surfs, but prefer not to have to use your eyeballs? Many are saying this. Well, we've got the solution for you. It's the Surf Times in podcast form. Available on most major podcasting networks now. If you enjoy it, please consider leaving a good review and feedback because it really helps the show out, apparently, and it's free. Just like the podcast. To our gods, Xander Corvus and Peyton L. Juice, we shall spend many a generations building mighty cathedrals in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, we are but your oafish jesters, here to offer you a laugh at any opportunity. To our brave knights of the round table, Rachel K, Izzy Solidarity, Victoria Bell, Sebastian Demel, Mark Harmon, Benji Arney, Scary Earth Human, Tony, DM Rivera, Resident Scarecrow, Sir Nickus, Cheryl Alvarez, Ruby Kelly, Brandon, Words Greenwood, Everything Important, Hegbird Celine, Matthew Scarborough, Stellar Vision, Ariane McCarthy, Doug Katie, Daniel Sutton, Jenna Tao, Dark Puppy, Quiet 185, Anna Loves Riley, Omni, Riley and Anna, Poodle Hawk, Multi Mondi, Trevbot EXE, Brian Ephraim, Anthropophojack, Catherine, Ramon Acosta, Nkosin, Ralph Parler, Violent Orchard, Political Puppy, La Media Panza, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We salute our valiant heroes off to fight injustice everywhere.